Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in with another battle replay here. Gonna try out a Napoleon Total War vanilla battle that was sent in to me a little while back. Um, been a little tentative about covering Napoleon Total War because uh, I honestly don't know a whole lot about the history of the Napoleonic era, but figured I would give it a go. Let's take a look at the armies. First off, we here have here Sweden being commanded by Ellington. Ellington is one of the backseat generals. Make sure to get to his channel. Link is in the description below. He has brought with him six units of the line infantry, three lifeguard of foot, one regular militia. His general is a regular general staff. Uh, he also has two units of dragoons, one 12-pound foot, foot artillery, one 6-pound horse artillery, and he has also brought four units of the Jaegers. His first ally here, kind of on this hilltop here in the middle, we do have Russia being commanded by Ghost King 89, and he, oh, we got a general death already, what, who's general, oh, that would be Prussia's general, already dead, wow, alright, I guess I gotta pause this here, cause stuff's already happening. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we do have Russia here being commanded by Ghost King. He has brought six units of Musketeers, three Russian Jaegers, one unit of Lifeguard, one, uh, one, sorry, Lifeguard Foot, one Grenadier, one unit of the, I don't know how to say the name of this unit, uh, starts with an O. Actually, I've already kind of lost it. There they are. Opalichi? I don't know how to say it. If you guys know how to say it, let me know in the, in the comment section below. Uh, his general is a general staff, two units of the Cossack Cavalry, one Dragoon, one Lifeguard Horse, and one 20-pound Unicorn that he has placed up on the hilltop here. It's actually taken a little bit of damage already, already lost four men. And then on the far left flank, we do have France here being commanded by Iron Fist 20, and he has brought four units of the Swiss Foot, three Chasseur, one unit of the 18th Regiment, uh, it spreads the brave on it. I can't say the rest of it because I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say it, so I'm not going to try. Uh, one unit of guard seamen, one old guard, one sixth regiment. He also has one fifth E cavalry, one guard cavalry, uh, one eight pound foot artillery, one six inch howitzer. His general is a general staff. He also has one unit of the seven E lancers and one chasseur cheval. The opponent he will be fighting is on the other side, who was the one that lost the general. That would be Prussia, being commanded by Beastmaster, and he has brought nine units of the Musketeers, one Landwehr. His general is a staff, two Lancers, one seven-pound howitzer, one 12-pound foot artillery. In the center, we do have quickly rushing towards the town. Actually, Russia and uh, Prussia and Great Britain are charging towards this town here. The map is Ligny. I believe I'm saying that correctly, Ligny. Uh, but we do have Great Britain being commanded by Billy Blazers, and he has brought four units of foot, two King's German Legions, two Highland Foot, two Light Foot, two units of the King's German Legion Light Foot, two Highland Foot, one Coldstream Guard, his general is a staff, three Light Dragoons, and one six-pound horse artillery. And then finally on the far left flank, we do have Austria being commanded by Axe Minister, and he has brought ten units of the German Fusiliers, Two Jaegers, general is a general staff, three Ulans, one 12-pound foot artillery, and one 7-pound howitzer. But all right, we already have a general death. That's crazy. How did his general die so quickly? Where is his general? Oh, wow, look at the crossfire here. So France moved immediately up to this riverside here and is just getting faint. Oh, this has to be where his general died. Oh, my God. The general got murdered. More artillery shots coming in just getting decimated oh my god massive strikes here absolutely destructive strikes 
In the center, we do have a unit of the Prussian Lancers that are just getting shot to absolute hell. Another unit of the Chasseurs here just firing straight across and getting really good, really, really good shots here in, th in the midst of this town. Knocking this Prussian Cavalry unit down. 24 men left in that unit there. Wow. Already a ton of damage being done. Great Britain making their way towards this bridge. Austria is lining up on the on the uh, riverbank here as well. He's actually got some stakes already set up, so he must have set up one of his... Uh, I guess one of his Jaegers already went up to set up the stakes there across the river. Jaegers on the other side here for Sweden are trading back and forth. More artillery shots coming in, landing down on the 12-foot-pound... 12-pounder-foot artillery here for Sweden. Now, I was told that this was a really, really good battle. So, uh, I'm assuming, being who's in the battle, I'm assuming that they are correct who was sent who sent it over here. I'm assuming that they definitely were telling the truth that it's going to be a fantastic battle. Uh, I just hope that I do it justice. So, if you guys do want to see more of this Napoleon Total War on my channel, feel free to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, obviously, liking the video, commenting on it, sharing it around, and subscribing to the channel will definitely help my channel out as far as videos as far as growth so uh yeah i would appreciate any sort of uh assistance comments definitely will help maybe uh get me to understand how to say some of the names of these units a little bit more but as i did say back at the beginning um i don't know a whole lot about the napoleonic era so yeah if you guys want teach me a little bit of history and hopefully i'll be able to use it in further videos but Big push here by Prussia, sending a lot of his army into this town. We actually already have a unit inside. Musketeer unit already has taken over this building, but a lot of damage. Oh my god. I think that unit just died. I guess so, yeah. So a building falls down, kills an entire unit. That's actually really, really accurate and pretty cool. So let's see. We do have some of more of the... Uh, Russian units in here actually grabbing up a building but again damage is being done to these buildings very very quickly good line of sight here what is this this is a unit of the musketeers really good shots down onto this light foot there for Great Britain artillery strikes are just massive in this game I've played this game a bunch I've streamed it a few times artillery strikes are probably one of the most devastating in uh, the total wars that I have covered to this point so yeah, I'm expecting a ton of kills. More shots coming. The six-pound horse artillery uh, doesn't show kills. Doesn't show kills. I'm actually just realizing that. Again, I've realized that in past battles, but uh, they don't show kill counts. I wish they kind of did with the unit. Well, let's see. More artillery strikes coming in now. We actually have a pretty consistent line here. Two units here for Great Britain afoot and a King's German Legion. Two units of the light foot here as well already firing up into that building russian musketeers here looks like they're coming out of the building yes they are making their way out of the building zero percent damage on that building. might not have been a bad idea to stay in that building but again another huge artillery shot take a look at some of their uh some of the foot vantage point here let's see what they're firing at oh my god I have a feeling this unit is going to die making its way across this bridge. That is a Russian musketeer unit stationed on the bridge here now. And they're kind of just sitting down. Oh, that guy. Oh, Jesus. Another huge artillery strike there. And look at them just routing. Breaking immediately. Huge charge coming. Foot, we're going to get in there on melee. But I guess they have scared them away. The Grenadiers for Russia had moved up as well. And they were taken out quickly. 47 out of 120 men left in that unit. Wow. Oh, we got some of the French cavalry has come across the bridge somehow and gotten into some of the artillery here. Seven pound howitzer for Russia being quickly dismantled. with that sword my god i think this french cavalry is just going to stay in there 
uh, until it's dead. I mean, there's 12 of them left. Looks like they've done a decent amount of damage, though. I think they took out that one artillery crew. I don't see it here anymore. Definitely, uh, they are not there anymore. More of the French units have come across this side bridge here, this far range bridge. 7E e Regiment uh, de Ch I don't know how to say it. Lanciers. That's all I know how to say is Lanciers. That's what I'm guessing is how you say that. Let's swing back into the middle here, though. See how Great Britain and uh, Russia are doing here. Does look like Russia is actually being pushed back. Great Britain doing a pretty good job of maintaining their stance there in the middle. And Sweden out on this right flank. Looks like he's kind of doing pretty well. He's got his Jaegers pulled back far enough away from the line. I mean, there is a decent amount. Three units of the German Fusiliers here have definite an eagle eye on that uh, embankment right there. Some more of the Austrian Jaegers in the center here getting some good shots across the bridge. Another unit of the Sweden here. Oh, Sweden line infantry, Swedish line infantry now falling back. Do have another unit of the Jaegers here making their way back as well. So they will be retreating from this front line but he's actually moved up some more of his line infantry here maybe they're going to try and trade back and forth with those german fusiliers across the river there not really aiming up oh wait though no, they're moving forward a little bit more oh he's going to re he's going to retreat them away again he's going to retreat them again but again huge artillery strikes look at these units just getting knocked down my god Artillery is real. In the center, huge line fire right there. Life foot, lifeguard foot. Hey, my God, gigantic barrage. But again, huge artillery strikes. Humongous. Just gigantic, gigantic barrages with this artillery. Shaking the screen, guys. It's shaking the screen. This is amazing. That's what artillery should do. I feel like that's what artillery should do in all of the total wars. If you zoom in that far, if you zoom in that far in onto a unit that's getting bombarded, you should definitely see a lot of disturbance on the screen there from the artillery striking for sure. All right, let's see how Russia is doing. I'm sorry, Prussia is doing down over here against France. Again, massive charge in. France coming in with some of his light dragoons. Again, just getting into the rear lines here of Prussia. Really doing a fantastic job so far with his cavalry. He's actually made away his way across the bridge, starting to wrap around the end here of the Prussia forces. Musketeer unit there with 70 men left in it. Probably going to be left there to try and at least hold off this invasion. Basically, this French invasion onto the Prussian side, but Prussia now actually is going to retreat away from his side of the battlefield and pull back to meet up with his Great Britain ally there in the center. More huge artillery strikes coming in. A lot of cavalry here. The Dragoons lined up. We do have a six-pound horse artillery as well, but another massive bomb. Oh, here we go. Dragoons look like they're going to make their way in. Are they going to charge across this bridge? Looks like they may. We're going to follow them. Probably going to take some losses on their way in, but they're going to be able to get in onto this unit. We have a unit of German Fusiliers there. I believe the intended target would have been the Jaegers, but unfortunately we do have a unit of German Fusiliers switching into that square formation to be able to hold this cavalry off, and they're going to have to retreat away again. Huge losses there. Dragoons, unfortunately, down to 19, now 18 men left in that unit. Swedish general kind of just holding there in the middle. Let's see how we're doing up on the hilltop. Is this artillery gone? No, it's not. He's moved it. Where has he moved his artillery that was up there, that unicorn? Did he pull it back? He did. He pulled it back here. 20-pound unicorn now has moved to the rear line. They are going to continue firing into that center that we have here. Building has been captured by... I don't really know who captured a building. I don't see anybody in a building right now. No, I don't see anybody in a building currently. Oh, wait, wait, wait. France over here capturing this farmhouse out on the far left end of the battle. Back in the middle here, the Great Britain forces still holding strong. Still doing their job, still doing putting in work. 
But they've definitely taken some serious losses here in the middle. Another huge, huge artillery strike coming in. Oh my god. Could you ima could you imagine? Ooh, good volley across the bridge across the uh, river there. Chasseurs from France getting a big volley across. Another unit of the Russian Jaegers now teaming up against Great Britain. Unit of Musketeers unfortunately routing away there in the center for Russia. That is probably a bit of a letdown. I don't really know though, but it's probably a bit of a laydown. Oh, here we go. Sweden now moving up to the embankment. Here, infantry. Oh, yeah. Sweden actually charging across the bridge, sending two units of his line infantry in, taking on some of the German Fusiliers. I think that Jaeger unit did pull back. Looks like the Jaeger unit did pull back. Yes, they were able to get away before this charge came across. A big push here in the center. Hopefully it ends up working out for Sweden. Maybe he'll be able to get across. Oh, wait. No, we have another unit of German Fusiliers charging into melee. And another unit has lined up right here unloading. Let's get an idea. Let's get a viewpoint on their shots here. Oh! Wow. I don't know if you guys saw that cannonball come right in there. But it just ripped right through the center of this Austrian unit. But they are going to continue lining up here, continue firing in. Oh, no, they're going to move up. I don't think this Sweden unit is going... I don't think... Yeah, I think these... Uh, believe these Swedish units here are not going to be able to hold for very much longer. Line infantry fighting for everything they can. All that they're able to muster up. Did he send a third unit over? He did not. Okay, I thought that he did. Actually, maybe it looks like he's trying to bait them to come a little bit closer. to Start getting some shots with that Jaeger. With the Jaegers there, uh, artillery strike actually just came ripping right through there. Getting a good volley, a good bombardment, I should say, into this German Fusilier unit. I think he actually hit both of them. Oh, a big rip. Yeah, good job there. Let's get down back onto the far end again. See how France is doing with his uh, surrounding or his encirclement here. Oh, is Prussia gone? Oh, no, no, he's not. He's fallen way back here. But look at how far around French France has come. The French soldiers have come so far around they're actually got some cavalry in the back lines over here getting into the jer actually wow the great britain general really e this yeah this french cavalry unit right there i don't know if great britain knows that he's there he's kind of pulling this unit of light dragoons away but maybe he doesn't know they're there it is quite possible napoleon is known to be quite hectic on battlefields once you get into the thick of the battle into the thick of it if you will um, yeah, they're known to be quite hectic battles. It does look like, actually, Sweden is starting to overpower this bridge here. Starting to take control. German Fusiliers not really holding up very much anymore. Sending another unit of his line infantry over is Sweden. Just more and more damage being done by these cannons. It looks like Sweden actually might be retreating away. I think he is, yes. Yeah, Sweden looks like... Nope, he's, this line infantry unit's still there. What's running? Oh, lifeguards at a foot have been shattered. Was that a cavalry unit that just came barreling in there? Oh, no, that's just infantry running away. I thought that was a cavalry unit, but look at the amount of damage. The amount of death that was done over here. Wow. Nope, Sweden's coming back. Line infantry is charging back in. Not caring at all about the artillery strikes. Lining up right across the bridge. German Fusiliers probably going to get some really good shots in onto this line infantry unit as they are just going to charge straight into melee. Trying their hardest to still just try and pressure that side of the bridge to get across. France back down over here. Lining up, firing against the Great Britain troops here in the middle again. Great Britain's line still holding strong for the moment. 102 left in this King's German Foot Legion there. Legion Foot, sorry. Lightfoot grenade uh, for Great Britain here. 
to start making their way forward. Maybe they're actually going to start retreating from this bridge. But look at how much Prussia still has. Wow, Prussia still has a ton of his army. Decent amount of line infantry left here in the middle as well. Some musketeers, two units of musketeers. Actually, some of the grenadiers. The grenadiers actually came back. I'm actually shocked about that. I thought they would have been gone completely. Let's see what's going on in that back over here. Did France come across? He has not. France has not come across the bridge just yet with this cavalry, but he is bringing up Swiss foot and the guard seaman unit to come around. Austria here with some of his Uhlans protecting the Great Britain general staff. Another unit of the Cossack cavalry has made their way around. Maybe they're going to try and uh, stave off. Nope, here they come. The Russian Cossack cavalry unit charging in on to the Great Britain general. Ooh, wow, that was close. The Austrian Uhlans just catching that unit of the Cossacks before they got to the Great Britain general. They got into the Great general staff, but... I don't think they're going to end up killing them off. I believe those Ulans should be able to hold long enough to be able to help. What is that? Unit of Jaegers? Way far out on the flank there. Unit is out of ammunition there for... I believe that is a French unit. Out of ammunition there. But still firing across the bridge. Look at the buildings. Just completely annihilated. Burned down. Burning. In process of burning. This town has definitely taken some serious... Serious damage during this altercation here between these six armies. Lightfoot again, just moving off to the side. And then kneel down, maybe try and get some pot shots off on some of these French units here. What do we have again directly across the bridge? Some of the chasseurs and the two units of chasseurs here. Old guard for France across the bridge. Oh wow, look at the pressure they've given. Getting up onto the flank now of the Great Britain units. With the high foot guard coming out for Great Britain. That's actually a unit I missed there in the beginning. But I do apologize for missing that uh, missing the unit during the opening introduction there. I really wish that it showed the uh, the kill counts, honestly. I think that would be a nice addition. Oh, no! Did that do damage? It did a little bit of damage. I think it did do a little bit of damage to this unit. Huge artillery strikes again. It looks like they're actually just going to move in. Yep, France over here taking on a unit of the... What was that that they just annihilated? King's German Legion Lightfoot has been annihilated. Cavalry again. Guards, Chasseur, uh, A Cheval. Again, don't know. More of the cavalry from the French cavalry making their way further into the lines here of Great Britain. Now taking on a unit of the foot. Two units of cavalry. Actually, wait, did he send in two units of cavalry? No, it's just one. One unit of cavalry, but look at this quick retreat here. Great Britain falling back. These units are wavering and broken. Foot and high foot. Highland foot making their way back. Again, another big charge in the center. We have some of the musketeers charging in onto a unit of the King's German Legion. Very tough unit there. see how Sweden is doing down on the other side. Does not look like he was successful in making his way across the bridge, unfortunately. Does have a unit of Jaegers here. They are just getting pelted down now. He's going to fall them back. Oh, artillery strike still coming in. That six-pound horse artillery still firing down, but two units of the Fusiliers have moved up to that riverbank. They're just going to scare that unit of the Jaegers back. But in the center here, it does look like Austria was successful in holding his side of the bridge. Sweden's not totally out yet. He's still got some of the lifeguards afoot. A new unit, a uh, beaten up unit of his uh, line infantry there. General staff still way in the back over there. Actually, speaking of that, what did the French cavalry do? Did they move? Did they end up moving in? I don't see them. That line infantry was over here. Actually, looks like they were destroyed. 
The guard seamen have run away. There was a second unit over there, but Prussian musketeers are also on the retreat. Ulan's there for Austria. It's getting, looks like it's getting close to uh, end of days here for this battle, but you never can tell completely. You never fully can tell. In the middle here again, King's German Legion getting some shots off. Or are they going to fall back? Or are they just reforming their lines? Looks like they're reforming their lines, maybe anticipating the uh, Austrian cavalry coming across the bridge. Old Guard Infantry has fallen back. Again, well-placed units here. Russia with a good sign, a uh, light of sight, I should say, against that unit of the Great Britain. Uh, that is the King's German Legion, yeah. Are they able to form square? Oh, they did form square. Ooh, might want to move that cavalry. I think that cavalry is going to die. They're just kind of walking across the bridge, getting shot, but they did get into combat. They are going to start fighting, but it's not going to be the entire unit. Oh, my God. Wow. That was... That was huge. Did you see those... The horses just get bombed and fly across the screen there. That was huge. That was pretty awesome to see. I'm not even going to lie. That was pretty cool. France still making his way around on the outside here. We do have another unit of the Russian Cossack Cavalry. Continuing to make their way around, but it actually looks like Russia's kind of, No, Russia's still got pretty much the same amount of infantry that he did the last time. Great Britain still holding here in the middle. Do have Austria still holding his sign as well. Does not look like there's any sign of retreat here for Austria to go meet up with uh, Great Britain. Like we saw Prussia initially have to pull back away from his side. Looks like uh, France was just too much for them to handle. I mean, first five seconds of the battle, uh, Prussia lost his general, which is... Pretty rough. Definitely pretty rough. Morale dropper for sure. We have some more of the Russian units, Russian units, sorry, trying to make their way across the bridge. Just not being successful. Might not be a bad idea to just line them up here and try and trade back and forth unless maybe they don't have the range to. They should have the range though. The musketeers might not want to blob them up like this though. I know that in Napoleon, it's not always the best idea to run your units, but it might not be a bad idea to run them just to get them back off from standing on top of each other. Because right now, basically, these Great Britain troops are getting two-for-one kills. firing at I don't know what they just shot what that guy just shoot at oh now they're giving their flank to two units of the Great Britain units here probably just going to finish unloading on that Austrian or that Prussian unit I should say Russian god dang it keep messing up sorry guys enemy another enemy general has been killed whose general was that axe ministers general that would be the Austrian general now dead what is he charging in? Oh, he's charging up. How did he die? Did he get hit by artillery? Or maybe he got shot by this unit? Lifeguard of the foot that came up to the bridge. The mouth of the bridge there. They might have just moved across and taken out that general. That's pretty big. That is pretty big. Again, general losses in Napoleon are pretty substantial as far as morale goes. Great Britain still holding this line over here. King's German light foot in the middle there. Regular foot unit there for Great Britain again. It does look like uh, Russia, Russia started to move up the reinforcement units that he had. France still pretty strong on this side of the battlefield. Let's swing back down onto the other side. Sweden here. Looks like maybe he's trying to get away. He might be trying to pull away from this combat. Actually, speaking of pulling away, Austria now retreating away. Austria's coming back across the bridge. Maybe he's going to go meet up with... Uh, with Great Britain or his idea is just to hold this bridge here. That is quite possible. More and more artillery strikes coming in onto this Great Britain force. <laughs> Life.
lighting looks pretty cool right here. I'm just going to take a quick picture of this. There we go. Good stuff. More are... Oh, that was a big shot. Down to 89. The Highland Foot just getting bombarded right now. I wonder why they're just leaving them up on the hill there. I'm going to try and move them. I know the artillery is just crazy in Napoleon, though. They, they could shoot pretty much... The, well, not pretty much. The artillery can fire the entire match. So, if you are interested in playing uh, Napoleon Total War, your artillery will be able to fire the entire battle. So, there will be artillery strikes forever. Literally forever. Unless something's changed, uh, artillery can fire forever. About to have another huge bombardment. God. I think they're just firing into the retreating units here, into the Aust Austrian retreating units. Ooh. Nope. Didn't hit anything. Didn't hit anything on that one. Let's see back over here. Is France advancing his position? He has moved up. Okay. So we do have some of these chasseurs who have moved their way forward. It's like a sniper squad have moved up, or a rifle squad, I guess you could say. Long range, long range, taking out a unit of the Austrian Jaegers being removed from the battle. Balance of power is still pretty even. It hasn't really shifted all that much from my recollection from the beginning there. Foot units up on the hilltop still holding on. Austrian Jaegers firing down onto these French units. Does France still have any cavalry? Oh yeah, he does. Oh no, that's Russia. Russia, two units of his Cossacks there. Maybe France doesn't have any of his cavalry left. He still has his general. But I don't see any more French cavalry. We actually have. Look at this. Prussia has sent some of his musketeers over to hold these bridges. Pop them into their square formation. So France or, um, France or Russia won't be able to come around with all of that cavalry to try and get some more rear charges into the back of their lines. Sweden did finally make their way across the bridge here. But again, just a massive line. Austria not willing to give... They were willing to give up that first bridge. Not willing to give up a second. They are going to hold there. The Austrian general actually coming back around across this bridge here. Yeah, 14 left out of the unit there. 14 out of 24. German Fusiliers making their way over here. So what do we have left here? Is there... Is there... No, there isn't. There isn't a map overview. I thought there was, but I guess there is not. France continuing to move up some more of his Swiss food here. He's got a unit of Chasseurs making their way closer. Wow, really close to this front line. Are they out of ammo? They are out of ammunition. More melee combat going to take place here. France charging in, getting rid of a Highland Foot. Second unit of Highland Foot, but we do have some Austrian-German Fusiliers going to join the melee. Some of the Cossacks now charging in. Yes, it is. Russian. Oh, that's Lifeguard. Lifeguard horse. Is that the is that the Cossacks as well? Did he charge in both? Oh, look at this. What is this? Russian Cossacks now coming in onto the rear line. Getting into these Austrian German Fusiliers. I don't know if they can form square, but it does not look like they were able to form it fast enough. So good charge there by Russia. Very well done. Helping France out, just continuing to annihilate this front line here. And it does look like Great Britain is really starting to fall now very, very quickly. Austria is still over here, going to continue holding his front line against uh, Sweden. Sweden, I, I think Sweden is just content keeping the attention of the Austrian force over here. Are they going to try? Yeah, they're actually going to start pulling back. Maybe going to get to try and get on top of a hill again. But some of the Great Britain Coldstream guards retreating. 61 out of 160 men still taking bombardments as they're trying to run. Here comes another shot. Really far shot. What are they firing at? Oof. Great Britain General still hanging out. He's probably like, oh man. Oh man, this is this is a problem. This is a problem. 
Prussia Musketeers quickly trying to rush across the field, across, across the bridge, I should say. Trying to rush across the bridge. But here they come. Cossack Cavalry and the Lifeguard Horse now going to get in onto the Great Britain six pounder horse artillery and that unit will be gone as well. So Austria now is a, been a bit of a problem because he's trying to retreat back to this hilltop. Actually, Great Britain still got some units. I thought he was gone. Jim, Jim, uh, Jer King's German Legion light foot and a unit of foot there in the center. Does still have another unit of King's German Legion foot right there as well. So uh, Great Britain isn't completely out of it. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, God. Lifeguard horse going to charge over here towards the Great Britain general. And I definitely don't think he sees this. Big charge into that general unit. Already lost four more men. Six. Yeah, the German general's dead. German general. The Great Britain general's dead. German. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? I don't know. But Austria has retreated back. They're actually getting close to this uh, hilltop here. But more artillery strikes coming in. Is that the French? Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, God. huge huge bombardment there French general has moved up hasn't even been touched 24 24 still very much a full unit Austrian Fusiliers 102 men wavering running away and I think we might get it be getting near the end of this battle yeah we definitely are Austria unfortunately breaking he had a pretty large force still over here actually no wait they're still fighting going not really no never mind Lifeguard horse from Russia has come all the way over here to aid Sweden in the wipe-up of the uh, the Austrian forces, taking out that last bit of artillery they had there. Still Great Britain holding on in the middle here. Final unit of foot going to stand until the end. Continue firing pretty much in all directions. What is that coming over here? Russian grenadiers making their way over here. That balance of power definitely changed. Definitely, definitely changed. Oh, God. Another big artillery strike. And we have... They're wavering. They're wavering. They're getting ready to go. Getting ready to leave this battlefield here very, very soon. Another huge artillery strike. Which will not break. Will not break. Will fight to the last man. going to have them charging in So the last bit. Oh, nope. Never mind. They broke. I think that's going to be it. What is still running around? Oh, wait. No, no, no. What's still? Oh, we still have another unit over here. Oh, wow. I didn't even see this unit. King German's Light Legion of Foot going to take on a unit of the Cossack Cavalry there from Russia. And that for sure is going to be the end of this battle. I think that other unit did end up fully breaking. Yeah, they did. I don't see them anymore. They are completely gone. Final unit there. Oh, wait, they won. What? Cavalry lost. German King's German Legion Lightfoot are winners for a time. They're a winner. I think they're still going to lose, though. They are definitely outmanned. Our balance of power is definitely in favor. Here comes the Swedish general, actually, now. He's going to charge down with eight men. Going to charge in onto that king's lit. Oh, no. He died. The general has died. <laughs> wow. But it looks... I mean, they're, they're currently winning that fight. There's only six of them left. And there they go. That's it. No, they're still here. What? I thought they broke. I thought this unit left. Wow. One final unit. But they are just getting hammered down on. Shattered. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Wow. What, a, what an awesome battle that was. I'm sure I missed a lot of stuff. But that was definitely a really fun battle to, uh, to commentate over. I thought that I was going to... I mean, I probably did mess it up. But 
It was definitely a fun battle to watch. So, all right, let's take a look. Uh, the battle was sent in by Iron Fist 20. So, dude, thank you very much for sending it over. He killed 2,696 men. My God. Pro. Pro status right there. Pro status. Uh, yeah, but he did a really good job, only losing 1,500 of his men. He had brought 900, 1,900, sorry, so about 400 of his men were still alive at the end. Uh, Ellington here deploying 2,112, losing 1,578, and his kill total was 883. And then we have Ghost King 87 playing as the Russians. He deployed 6,000, uh, 6, wow, 2,168, losing 1,372, killing 858. Axe Minister there playing as Austria, 2,172 deployed, 1,668 lost, 1,740 kills. Very nice, good amount of kills there, for sure. Uh, Billy Blazes in the center there playing as Great Britain, 2,172, losing 1,646, killing 1,650. And then we have Beastmaster playing as Prussia, deploying 2,272 troops, 1,806 losses with a kill count of 820. And I don't really know. I think this just shows... Yeah, I think this is just going to show for the French. So let's take a look. Some of the kills. Look at that. 6-inch howitzer, 378. Cavalry, 135. The uh, 6th regiment there, 145. Pretty good. Another cavalry unit, 133. Or 134. 8-pound uh, foot artillery, 235. Chasseurs, 197. Chasseurs, 150. And his, oh, I thought that was the general for a second. Another unit of the cavalry here with 97 kills. But there he goes, guys. That is the end of my first attempt at covering a Napoleon Total War field battle. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Share the content around. Definitely check out the links in the description below. Ellington Total War right there in the battle. Make sure to get over subscribe to his channel. Gore Mjolnir and uh, Bearded Warman as well. Hungry Wolves Discord's down there. Get in there, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.